Hi there, welcome back to Duke Scopy TV. I'm Ben Jones. On the line with me for your week ahead is Viktor Golovchenko from Forex Magnates. So to begin with Victor, we have the UK GDP figures released tomorrow. The peak recently has been 2.6%. Do you think this is a figure that can be consistently reached? And what are you expecting from the release tomorrow? Current market expectations are expecting 2.8% growth in the fourth quarter. This happens due to a variety of factors. First of all, we have seen lower PMI readings in the fourth quarter uh, across the service sector and the manufacturing sector, but especially in the housing sector. We have seen uh, both, uh, both sides of the aisle in the UK and the US um, experiencing lower rates of uh, house price growth. So we tend to feel that this might impact the fourth quarter GDP in some way, particularly in the UK. Next up, and Japanese unemployment and inflation are also out. The unemployment rate has hovered around 3.5% for a while now. Does anything indicate that this will change? And do you think Japan will be content with its current inflation rates? Japanese inflation rate is really an issue for them. Currently, the market expects a 2.6% reading, which probably is going to be met, as usually these numbers are quite well forecasted in Japan. But the problem for the, Je the Bank of Japan is that these rates are mostly driven by, still driven by the tax hike increase which happened last year in April. So these price levels are not actually corresponding to the real situation uh, in the Japanese economy and the inflation rate will continue to be low there. And once we get out of the way this uh, seasonal adjustment for the um, tax rate increase which happened in April last year, the CPI in Japan is going to be much lower. Unemployment will remain uh, consistent. There is no big changes expected there. Um, it's a very interesting job market because there's too much um, saturation in it and usually these rates have remained low for, for when compared to the other G7 economies. And finally, it's a busy week for the US, ending with a GDP release on Friday. What are you expecting from this? It's a very busy week for the US indeed, and it starts with durable goods orders tomorrow, which are expected at around plus 0.5% uh, in December. We side with the market expectations in this case, but the bigger risks will be from the new home sales figures, which are released also tomorrow. And um, that number is are expected at around 450,000 on a yearly basis. We feel that this number could be lower at around 440. But then again, most of that could be priced into the market. Now, the Federal Reserve has a interest rate meet, interest rates meeting uh, on Wednesday. We expect to see an interesting statement from the Fed, which will um, start acknowledging the lower rates of inflation and probably reflect to some extent the fact that um, they could be forced to delay their first interest rate hike from their initial intentions, which now the market prices in around the middle of this year probably at their June meeting. Now in terms of GDP, uh, the same thing that we have said about the UK could have an impact, but it's also offset by the drop in oil prices, which could have a particularly boosting effect in the long run for consumer spending in the US. Now we might not see it this quarter, but the risks for the housing market in the US are a touch lower than those in the UK. So we expect something around 3% for GDP in the fourth quarter in the US. Victor, thank you for joining me again today. That's all we have time for for now. Keep clicking back to Dukoscopy TV though for plenty more exclusive interviews. Bye for now.